Welcome to the Trend Micro Deep Security video series. My name is Nick Russo and I'm a customer service engineer on the Hybrid Cloud Support Team. In this video, we'll step through the configuration of your Deep Security Manager's dashboard. This dashboard is the main page a user sees when logging into the Deep Security Manager's web console. We'll create a new dashboard, adjust views of our dashboards based on filters available, and cover some of the recommendations for creating your own dashboards. From my Deep Security Manager, after logging in, I'm brought to the default dashboard page. There are several widgets arranged on this page out of the box, and I can make adjustments to this page by clicking and dragging widgets around, or I can remove a widget by clicking the X in the top right corner of it. At the top of the dashboard, there's a tab with a plus sign that is used for creating additional new dashboards. I'll click the plus sign, give my new dashboard a name, and I can start adding widgets to the page by clicking on the Add Remove Widgets button. I have widget categories for monitoring, system, ransomware, and one for each of the deep security protection modules. The layout of the dashboard is determined on the size of the widget. Next to the name of some of the widgets are identifiers for the size of the widget. Most are 1x1 in size where others may stretch out to 2x1 or 3x1 for widgets that may show history or status of machines in a chart. You'll see what I'm referring to by the size in just a moment as we add widgets to the page. After I check the widgets I want to add to my new dashboard, I'll click OK, and I can now begin arranging them on the page by clicking and dragging them around. As mentioned before, if I want to remove a widget, I can click the X on the corner of the object, or click the Add Remove Widgets button again and uncheck it from the list. As I create additional dashboards, they show up as new tabs on my dashboard page. To remove one from the dashboard, I can click the X next to the name of the tab, and it will be deleted after confirming the pop-up message. One thing to note is that new dashboard pages created under your account do not show up for other users and are specific to the account that created the dashboard. At the top of each dashboard page I've created, under the tabs, I have filter options available for what information I want to see in the dashboard views I've created. There are three dropdowns available to filter by. Tags, 24-hour view or 7-day view, and different folders your machines may be organized in. Tags can be added to events in Deep Security to tag events that occur for machines, and if you'd like to only display information for events that have been auto-tagged, you have that ability. I can specify if I want to see 24 hours information or 7 days of info in the second dropdown. The third allows me to specify a group of machines based on the folder structure of my computers. If I have different cloud accounts like AWS or Azure, or an on-premise VMware environment synced with my DSM, I can drill down into the folders of those accounts to find the group of machines I want the dashboard to display info for. We can also sort by any smart folders that have been created in your DSM. After I've set the options for the info I want to be shown, I can click the Apply Filter button, and we now have a subset of information displayed. As mentioned in our Best Practices Guide linked in the video description, we recommend using the following widgets. Alert Status. This widget keeps you informed of any critical items that might need immediate attention such as security updates and protection on computers going offline. Computer status gives a good overview of an agent's status. My sign-in history shows information about the user currently logged in, and security update status shows information about out-of-date versus up-to-date agents. You can create multiple dashboards and group them by usage, such as general, anti-malware, updates, and others for easier management of large-scale environments. Administrators can easily switch between them from the tab view. If you have a team of engineers responsible for deep security in a larger environment, they can each create their own custom dashboards to reflect their responsibility as it relates to the deep security platform. If you have any configuration questions related to deep security or about the information provided in this video, feel free to reach out to our support team and we'd be glad to help. Thanks for watching.